Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Glani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm really honored to be joined by Dr. Eric Topol. Dr. Topol is the founder and director of the Scripps Research Translational Institute, professor of molecular medicine, and executive vice president of Scripps Research. But I'd love to hear, uh, in your own words, about your background, how you got into cardiology, and what led you to found the Scripps Research Translational Institute. You know, it actually goes back to my real love was um, genetics, which later became genomics uh, back in, even in college. And I went into cardiology you know, because in, in medicine, that was a discipline that was the most activism that you could actually do things. And that's how I wound up doing, you know, things like angioplasty and stenting and all that. But I eventually got back to genetics and genomics. Um, and then uh, here at Scripps back in 06, when I first got here, uh, we actually not only delved into the genetics, uh, but also the digital side, as you know, Shiv. And, that's where we recognized that we just the DNA sequence wasn't going to be enough, that we needed to have other ways to understand each human being at a, at a deep level. So it evolved like that. And, you know, we have basically um, equal emphasis on the biologic and the physiologic and anatomic differences that account for why each of us are unique. Given that Osmosis's audience are primarily comprised of you know millions of current and future healthcare professionals, what advice would you give to somebody considering a career in healthcare or early on in their journey towards becoming a health uh, professional? Well, I, I think I wish I could go back because, you know, right now, I think we're on the cusp of the most exciting time in medicine. So as you well know, we are experiencing a global crisis of burning. And it's not just burnout, it's also depression. And then even, you know, a very substantial number of suicides each year among healthcare professionals. And this hasn't gotten any better with the pandemic. But the reason why I'm optimistic and why I wish I could go back is I think medicine can only get better now. It's unidirectional. It's hitting bottom in terms of the toll it takes on all clinicians of all types. And that's why, you know, I really do think if we embrace the potential of AI and deep neural networks, and even the models that haven't been built yet that will work with the AI uh, construct. You know, I think we can get out of the mess we're in right now. And the reason we went into medicine was to care for patients. And if you feel you can't provide care, that's when you get depressed and you disenchanted and you you lose your, 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 your sense of your mission and why you work so hard to become a clinician. So, I, I just want to see us get back to that. And I'm actually excited where this is headed because uh, it's just hard to envision it getting much worse. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.